Hi, I'm Courtney. My shop is called Coco Clem, and in this video, I'm gonna teach you how to digitize your sewing patterns. Whether you're a home sewer and wanna store all of your paper patterns digitally, or a designer who wants to turn their own sewing patterns into PDF prints. As with most tutorials, there are many different ways to do things, so I'm just sharing with you the ways that I know how to do this and what's worked best for me. If you know of a more efficient way to do something, please leave it in the comments below. To start digitizing your sewing pattern, grab the pattern and a clear ruler. Measure its width at a distinct spot, such as the bottom edge, and jot down the measurement. Repeat this for the center front, measuring from top to bottom. Photograph the pattern, ensuring that your phone is level with the sewing pattern. Import these photos into Adobe Illustrator and don't worry about the scale initially. Use the pen tool to mark each corner and break up any long curves with additional points. Adjust the points using the direct selection arrow. Shape the curves with the anchor point tool by dragging the anchor point handles until you get your desired curve. Alternate between the direct selection arrow and the anchor point tool to refine the curves as needed. After tracing your sewing pattern in Illustrator, use the measuring tool from the toolbar. Start by measuring where you previously marked your horizontal measurement on your sewing pattern, double clicking to release it. This will show you the measurement of that area. Ensure the numbers match your recorded measurements. If the measurements aren't correct, adjust the scale of your drawing and remeasure until it's accurate. Double check the vertical measurements also and resize the canvas to accommodate all pieces of your sewing pattern. For an A0 pattern, arrange all of the pieces on a single sheet approximately 36 inches wide with a customizable length. You'll want to include essential details on your sewing patterns like the printing scale, the pattern information, the cutting details, whether you need to cut two pieces in a lining, etc., the seam allowance, and whether it's included or not, your logo, and any other relevant information. Once you're finished, save this original AI file and then also save another PDF file and label it as a zero for printing. To craft a layout suitable for printing across multiple pages, begin by creating a new document sized at 17.4 centimeters by 26.2 centimeters. This ratio is compatible with the majority of printers. Let's start with 15 artboards initially. Make sure there's no bleed, then click on more settings. Make sure that the spacing is set to zero. Click grid by row with five columns and create document. Start by selecting the ellipses tool and switch its color to black. This will create the print registration marks and position them at the intersection of each page. Next, we'll assign numbers to each page, adjusting their opacity to 20% so they're not super visible. And next, we'll import the previously created A0 file of the pattern we digitized into this document and make sure no resizing occurs. Place the pattern at the top left corner of the page to minimize page usage for the sewer. We will go to Document Setup at the top and click Edit Artboards and delete any unused artboards by selecting them and pressing the backspace key. And finally, we'll save the original AI file along with a PDF version for convenience. Now you know how to digitize your own sewing patterns. If you wanna try sewing any of the patterns that I've created, I've linked them down below. And if you'd like more sewing tutorial content, fashion, lifestyle, vlog, apparel designer, day in the life videos, stay tuned for more of my content. And thank you for watching.